watching the Weather Network, covering weather and environmental issues 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exclusively on cable. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the start of the week and the first day of our spring program schedule here at the Weather Network. Now, as well as offering your local weather on the tens, we've also added a host of new recreational segments from boating right through to golf. It's all covered. All of the information you need to know when you need to know it. So stay with us. It's all just ahead. Don't go away. Well, today's upper air current will dip through the U.S. Rocky Mountain states, climb to Manitoba, cross Ontario and southern Quebec, and then rise over Atlantic Canada. Seasonal temperatures will prevail across most of the country except the eastern prairies in northern Ontario where it will be slightly on the cool side today. Let's have a look now at our systems map. Here's what's coming your way this afternoon. We've got a low pressure system well to the north of Newfoundland bringing in a cloudy, very windy afternoon. Winds generally out of the west, gusts of up to 80 kilometers an hour at times. There's a ridge of high pressure, nice one over the Maritimes in Quebec and eastern Ontario. Clear blue sky ahead. Southern Ontario, however, will see this warm front pick up and bring in more and more clouds throughout the day. Western Canada, very nice one uh, as well. We've got a ridge of high pressure dominating from the lakehead into Alberta. Variable to mainly clear skies. Kind of breezy, though, around the upper Great Lakes. And for BC, increasing clouds for the interior and showers this afternoon on the coast. Now, as far as tonight's picture is concerned, the cold front moves inland. A few isolated showers on the coast and showers moving through the interior, staying clear overnight across the prairies. A little bit of cloud, though, as we move into Manitoba. Also clouds around northwestern Ontario and increasing clouds for northern Ontario today. Staying cloudy in southern Ontario, kind of breezy as well. Winds out of the east, moderate at times. And from Quebec into Atlantic Canada, nothing but clear skies tonight. And here's a look now at temperatures for this afternoon. We've got near seasonal values across most of the country today. A little bit on the cool side through the eastern prairies with that sunshine and uh, as far as Ontario is concerned normal temperature readings right through to Atlantic Canada very windy though on the east coast tonight's picture seasonal temperatures slightly cool though through the upper Great Lakes and the eastern prairies and we'll be back in just a moment stay with us we've all seen the pictures showing the devastating aftermath of one of nature's most powerful forces a tornado but how strong are the winds inside one of these twisters tornadoes can wreck houses and toss cars in a matter of seconds and it's no wonder a powerful tornado can pack winds as strong as 500 kilometers per hour. In Canada, funnel clouds are mainly observed on the prairies and in southern Ontario. Believe it, it's a weather fact. <laughs> Well, it's great.
great to have you with us here this Monday, April the 10th on the Weather Network. We're taking a look at conditions across Canada at this hour. We've got your regional forecast coming up within a couple of minutes' time. Right now, though, this is the picture that uh, we've got over North America. We've got a low-pressure system over Atlantic Canada, a ridge of high pressure, mainly over Quebec and uh, Ontario. Atlantic Canada getting a touch of that ridge as well. Clear skies over New Brunswick right now. And this is all uh, cloud related to a couple of warm fronts which are moving into the northern plains. So just a little bit of cloud right now in Alberta. Really, the eastern prairies are looking good. BC, variable skies on the coastline. This is what's uh, coming your way this morning. At this hour, we've got some rain and strong winds over Newfoundland. Winds are easily gusting up to 70 kilometers an hour in St. John's. The Maritimes are also looking at that cold front moving through. A mixture of rain and snow through Halifax and also a little bit of snow and uh, brisk winds elsewhere. Winds gusting up to about 40 kilometers an hour at times through Nova Scotia PEI. Clear skies for the most part part, I should say, over New Brunswick. Same story into southern Quebec, eastern Ontario. Things are a little bit on the cool side, though. The southwest, a little bit of cloud moving through from the west, and northern Ontario clear as a bell at this hour. Western Canada, variable to mainly clear skies from the lakehead across Manitoba and Saskatchewan, and it's a cloudy morning at this very early hour in Alberta for Edmonton and Calgary. BC, the interior, mainly clear skies. The coast, variable skies right now. <laughs> Well, that was a look at your latest conditions here now as your regional forecast. Here's what's coming your way this afternoon in your area. First of all, in Newfoundland, we've got a low-pressure system to the north, a little bit of rain lingering behind for St. John's, very windy as well, winds out of the west, gusts of up to 60, 70, at times 80 kilometers an hour, but the winds will die down into the evening hours. Just keep that in mind. The ridge of high pressure is keeping skies nice and clear over the Maritimes today. Temperatures are right around where they should be as well. Eight in Fredericton and Halifax, and three degrees this afternoon in Charlottetown. Mainly sunny skies. Lovely day through southern Quebec and the Ottawa Valley. Look at this. From Quebec City into Montreal, nothing but sunshine. Eastern townships are looking good, and temperatures around six, seven degrees today. For southern Ontario, expect a great day as well. Mainly Mainly sunny, especially for uh, Kingston and Peterborough, just a little bit of high thin cloud moving through, but it's going to be increasing clouds today for the western end of Lake Ontario, Hamilton, Toronto, looking at a system moving in from the west. And here it is showing up in this afternoon's picture over southwestern Ontario, grey skies, increasing clouds for Kitchener and Barrie today, and temperatures ranging from 6 to 9 degrees in the southwest. Northern Ontario, mainly sunny today, a little bit of cloud moving in from that same system over the Sioux, but really, the picture is uh, going to be a fairly bright one, and temperatures are right around where they should be, if not just a touch on the cool side, 2 to 5 degrees today. And with Western Ontario, lovely day through the lakehead into Kenora, the Lake of the Woods, excellent. Winnipeg, Brandon, variably cloudy skies. We've got a little bit of high thin cloud moving along the border with that system. And as far as temps go, on the cool side today, by about 5 degrees through Manitoba, and as well for Saskatchewan, where we will see the bright sunny conditions continue. Strong area of high pressure dominating most of western Canada. Lovely day then through Edmonton, Calgary, and Lethbridge. Highs up to 7, 8 degrees. B.C. looking at sunshine through the interior, but showers today on the coast, but double-digit highs. <laughs>
conditions right through to the end of this week now. Uh, starting off this afternoon, the picture looks like this. We've got an area of high pressure dominating most of the country. The big low pressure system, though, is this one. This is the doozy that's going to bring in some clouds and eventually some light precip into northern sectors. So increasing clouds, that's the story today over most of southern Ontario. Kind of breezy as well. And other regions to the north will stay uh, mainly sunny until the evening hours when we'll see that cloud thicken up. Areas to the east and west are looking pretty good. Tuesday afternoon, mainly sunny skies continue for Atlantic Canada. Central Canada awash in this low. Clouds and also some showers in the upper Great Lakes. Wet snow in through the lakehead. Western Canada nice and clear up until about Alberta. Then clouds and showers take over for Alberta and BC looking at a few isolated showers as well. Wednesday afternoon, uh, low pressure system dominates BC. Clouds and showers all the way across the prairies really. Manitoba will be saved. Lots of sun. Showers in through central Canada. Areas in the east looking good. Thursday afternoon, that low moves into Atlantic Canada. So that's when the wet stuff starts in the east on Thursday. Drying out over central Canada by Thursday with conditions a little bit uh, cooler than they will have been on, th on Wednesday and Thursday in Western Canada, looking at some clouds and also some showers on the coastline for Thursday. Friday afternoon, as the ridge dominates most of Western Canada, BC clears out, clouds continue over the eastern prairies, central Canada, a little bit of sunshine in the south and Atlantic Canada, looking at some clouds and showers right through till the end of the week. Scouts Canada plants millions of trees every year. This spring, we will plant our 50 millionth tree. When a scout asks you to pledge support for scout trees, remember you're helping to grow the next generation of trees and the next generation of citizens. Please support scouting. Overlooking the St. Lawrence River, Quebec City's skyline is dominated by the majestic shadow Frontenac. A stroll through its narrow streets evokes the bygone days of New France. As for the climate, summers here are a little shorter than areas further south. It's still warm with an average daytime temperature of 25 degrees in July. Winters, on the other hand, can get pretty cold. But if you bundle up, you'll be rewarded. Quebec City's winter carnival is enough to make even the coldest days feel warm. Weather Network Traveler's Forecast is brought to you by Land Rover, makers of the Range Rover, the Discovery, and the Defender. Now for a look at our daily flight information. No delays are reported across Atlantic Canada, and flights are on schedule in southern Ontario and southern Quebec, and no weather-related delays are expected in southern British Columbia or across the prairies. And no delays are reported at these major U.S. destinations. This flight information is provided by Air Canada. Travelers to Newfoundland today can expect a cloudy, very windy day this afternoon. And across the Maritimes, it'll be a generally sunny day with moderate winds from the west. Daytime highs will hover around the seasonal mark. And a system developing over the Midwestern U.S. will produce overcast conditions for most of southern Ontario. Toronto, however, will only see the clouds by the afternoon. And southern Quebec will be mainly sunny with seasonal temperatures. An Arctic ridge stalling over the eastern prairies will spread plenty of sunshine around Manitoba and Saskatchewan today, but it's still a little early yet to start working on your tan. The mercury will sit at about 5 degrees below normal. Alberta will begin the week under mainly sunny skies in Edmonton and gradual clearing for Calgary. For the southern coast of B.C., the forecast calls for increasing cloud and showers today. And if you're heading to the northeastern U.S. today, look for clearing skies in Boston, variable conditions in New York, and showers in Washington. Towards the lower Great Lakes, Detroit will be cloudy while rain is expected for Chicago. And for travelers to the American Southeast today, sunshine will spread across Georgia. The Gulf Coast states, for the most part, will remain variable to cloudy, and Dallas will see some thunderstorms. 
And finally, if your destination is in the American Southwest today, the coast mainly sunny and a clearing trend will continue in the desert states. Denver will be cold with flurries. Have a good trip. Every species has its own method of transporting its young. Some means of getting offspring from one place to another. Safely, comfortably, and reliably. And human beings are no exception. The Land Rover Discovery, far superior to carrying your children in your mouth. This report has been brought to you by Land Rover makers of the Range Rover, the Discovery, and the Defender. Well, it's Monday, April the 10th, and you're watching the Morning Report. New programming. It's time for uh, some spring-like stuff, and here it is coming your way. First of all, conditions over the waters. We've got your local forecast coming up right after this. Uh, satellite shot is showing cloudy skies across most of Atlantic Canada. However, there is an area of high pressure dominating, so the northern half of the waters through the Maritimes should uh, see plenty of sunshine for this morning and this afternoon. As far as winds are concerned, though, behind this uh, system, we've got some very strong northwesterlies developing today. 35 knots off the northeast coast, same for the uh, western shores for the northeast Gulf, the Gulf of Port of Port, and the east coast, looking at westerlies for the most part, up to 35 knots at times, and seas will be climbing to 3 meters and uh, gale force warnings all around from the Strait of Belle Isle down to the east, the south, southwest coast, and all of the western shores for the northeast Gulf and the Gulf of Port of Port. For the Maritimes, westerly winds coming your way today on the waters, 35 through the Magdalene Gulf. Look at this, up to 50, though, uh, through Forshoe, so it's going to be kind of rough around the Cabot Strait and through Forshoe. The Atlantic coastline, Nova Scotia, 25 out of the northwest, same through Graham and Ann and Fundy, where seas will be up to 2 meters, generally, 3 meters through Forshoe, and a gale force warning has been issued for the Magdalene Gulf, Northumberland Strait, Shalomitsku area, and a storm warning for the Cabot Strait from Forshoe down through to the Graham and Ann region and through Fundy. We're looking at a small craft warning. And that was a look at your nearshore marine conditions. We'll be back in a moment. Folklore tells us there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Where did this superstition come from? Rainbows contain seven colors, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. The last of the colors, yellow, orange, and red, seem to melt together, creating the gold at the end of the rainbow. In general, a rainbow in the morning when the sun is to the east tells us there's probably a shower on the way. But afternoon rainbows are usually a sign of clearing skies from the west. Believe it, it's a weather fact. Great to have you back with us. Here's a snapshot of what's uh, going on across the country, across the continent this morning. This is our satellite uh, over North America. And as you can see, we've got a low pressure system over Atlantic Canada to the north of Newfoundland. A cold front dives past Atlantic Canada into the U.S. Uh, northeastern states, and then it rounds out this way. We've got clouds once again. This is, in fact, a couple of uh, warm fronts moving through the northern plains towards the Great Lakes. So that's why we've got some clouds through Alberta this morning across the eastern prairies in and around Ontario and the west coast. Looking pretty good through the interior on the coast, right on the coast. We've got a little bit of cloud moving through. A system is making its way through. This morning, then, here's what it looks like. Rainy, very windy weather on the east coast for uh, Newfoundland. A little bit of snow as well on the west coast possibly 5 to 10 centimeters before it's all said and done by this afternoon. The Maritimes behind us, a little bit of rain through Nova Scotia, kind of breezy and clear from New Brunswick into Quebec and most of Ontario clears the bell. Things are on the cool side this morning, though, uh, below freezing across the lower lakes. Western Canada clear and kind of windy through northwestern Ontario. Alberta looking at some clouds this morning. B.C. some clouds, a few isolated showers up and down the coast, and temperatures look like this this morning.
Weather Network state file has two entries for April 11th. On this date in 1991, residents of southern Ontario were still reaping the pleasures of a heat wave that had begun two days earlier. A ridge of high pressure over the Atlantic coast, combined with a strong southeasterly flow, had created the unusually warm temperatures for the period. Some residents even said that it felt more like midsummer than April. Temperatures rose as high as the mid-20s in some areas, or about 15 degrees above normal. Many daily temperature records were broken during the warm spell. These pleasant conditions lasted for several days. And on this day in 1979, residents of the Chatham area in southern Ontario experienced a heavy spring flood. Warm weather experienced earlier in the month had created ice jams on the Thames River. Several farms were flooded when the river overflowed its banks. Over 400 homes were damaged by the floods. The waters receded the following week. That was the Weather Network's date file for April 10th. The values indicated in this report represent the level of ultraviolet radiation expected in your region this afternoon. An estimated time to burn factor is also shown. For example, a UV index between 7 and 9 is considered a high reading. Under these conditions, it would take most fair-skinned people less than 30 minutes of exposure to get burned. Getting outdoors once again, getting a chance to, uh, well, wear maybe those uh, nice new spring clothes that you've been out shopping for. Let's have a look at uh, your forecast. You might want to uh, put on a sweater in some areas, especially against uh, the wind. A good windbreaker might be helpful. There's the showers. Look at these westerly winds. 45 kilometers an hour, but uh, clearing out for this evening. Same situation. Westerlies here and northwesterlies at about 25 kilometers an hour. Some sunshine, though, is uh, continuing. Not a bad day either through uh, much of uh, Quebec and uh, even into uh, eastern areas of Ontario, Ottawa, and uh, Montreal at about 7 uh, with uh, the winds of the west and north. Low chance of uh, probability of precipitation. As we get into southern Ontario somewhat, Toronto increasing cloudiness here too. But look at these winds picking up to about uh, 35 out of the east off of Hamilton Harbour there as we get into southwestern Ontario, down around London. A little more cloud cover, but still a little on the breezy side. And there's that ever-present chance of precipitation increasing to about a... Uh, 
still a slight uh, 30 percent down in the area. Northern Ontario a little bit fairer though. The winds are also uh, settling down a bit. So it might be a nice day for uh, getting out and taking part in uh, a little bit of sport activity. Here again the winds and the sunshine but it's changing tomorrow so if you're going to be outdoors do it today. There's going to be snow and freezing rain in the northwest tomorrow. As we go westward once again you'll notice what's happening. Uh, there's some cloud going to filter its way into Alberta. It's very nice there. Sunshine again for the interior but still a lot of scattered showers lingering in the coastal areas of British Columbia. This is Tom Husak coming to you from the Ritz-Carlton Palm Beach. And with me is Ripley Emil from the Gray Rock Tennis School. Today we're going to be talking about the serve, tactics versus mechanics. Too many players focus on mechanics, so they're very slow in their delivery, instead of focusing on where they should hit the ball. Should it be to the forehand? Should it be to the backhand? Try to mix it up and focus on where you're hitting the ball. That's right, Tom. Every time a player comes up to the line prior to hitting a ball, the more that they focus on the technical side of things, such as the grip, the stance, how they're preparing the racket, they end up being out of sync and off balance by the time they make contact with the shot. So tactically is what you should be thinking about when uh, preparing to serve. Now, should you always uh, serve to the forehand side, surprise to the backhand side, or should you always serve to the backhand and surprise to the forehand? I suggest the latter. So again, focus on the, ta the tactical context first before the technical. So get up to the line, relax. Focus on where you're hitting the ball. Don't focus on if your grip is right or if your motion is correct. It's a great day. Get out there, play tennis, and we'll see you soon. Canadian summers can be hot. In fact, heat waves are quite common in Canada, especially in southern Ontario and the interior of southern British Columbia. A Canadian heat wave occurs when the maximum temperature reaches 35 degrees Celsius for three consecutive days. When a heat wave strikes, there's three things you should do to prevent heat-related illnesses. The first thing is moderate your physical activity, especially during the hottest part of the day. But if you have to do something and you do go outside, dress for it. Dress in light clothing and clothing that breathes well. The third thing you should do is drink plenty of fluids. And you shouldn't wait until you're thirsty to start drinking. Start drinking before you go outside, and that way you won't get dehydrated. During a heat wave, keep in mind that there are many heat-related illnesses. If you suffer from an illness, such as heat cramps or heat exhaustion, drink a glass of slightly salted water. Heat strokes, however, can be fatal and require medical attention. Taking a look at our uh, recreational uh, forecast, of course, a look at the systems, whether you can even go out. It might be raining or maybe it's going to snow. Oh, boy. Uh, clear skies for uh, tonight. A uh, little bit on the chilly side, uh, so dress uh, warmly in the east. A little clouding over is happening. Showers in parts of Ontario are a potential, but snow over to the northwestern areas. That's going to continue to advance. A lot of cloud cover. Clearer skies. Uh, some clouds going to slowly spread towards Alberta. Still some scattered showers will continue for parts of British Columbia. Nestled in the Rockies, Banff is nothing short of spectacular. The focal point is the magnificent Banff Springs Hotel, but the real attraction is the natural beauty of Canada's first national park, which offers some of the finest hiking and skiing anywhere. And if you don't want to climb up, there are less strenuous ways to take in the view. And how about a little golf? They call Alberta Big Sky Country, the sunshine capital of Canada. And on a clear day in Banff, you'll see why. Thank you. 
This Weather Network report on ultraviolet conditions is brought to you by SLR, Vision World Leader. This graph represents the latest ultraviolet reading for your region. The numbers at the bottom of the page represent the time of the latest reading. The scale on the left shows whether the readings are low, moderate, high, or extreme. This green curve shows today's expected UV index for each hour of the day. These yellow bars indicate the actual UV index for your area. transitions comfort lenses. The new lightweight plastic prescription lenses with a special tint that lightens and darkens as the light changes. The only lightweight plastic lenses that darken and lighten just like that. It's comfort you can see day or night, outside or inside. Ask for new transitions comfort lenses. Ask your eye care professional for transitions comfort lenses by Essilor. For further information, contact your eye care professional. This international forecast on the Weather Network is brought to you by British Airways. British Airways, we cover the world. And we're going to see if we can uh, cover uh, some of your forecasts around the world. We'll begin with a system that's bringing some clouds through Scotland. And it is heading in the direction of uh, much of the Scandinavian regions, uh, the Norways, for example, into uh, Sweden eventually, but not a lot of active weather associated with that. Fair amount of sunshine. We've had some reports of thunderstorms along Gibraltar and a little more cloud cover continuing, too, in parts of Italy. Now, let's have a look. First of all, there you can see a little bit of cloud uh, fair across uh, Dublin and Edinburgh into Stockholm. More cloud cover, though, in the Moscow forecast. And we'll also find that uh, Budapest is looking at quite a bit of uh, cloud cover continuing there, too, all through uh, Hungary and uh, surrounding vicinities. Variable cloudiness still lingers in Rome, so it'll be a little bit cloudier there, but quite comfortable across uh, Europe as we go to the Pacific Rim. Here we have uh, some cloud and some showers that may find their way through parts of Tokyo and uh, Seoul. Uh, Beijing will be a little bit uh, fairer as well, but you will find sunshine all through the south. Singapore might have some active weather once again. Down into uh, the Australian forecast, fairly clear here for the most part, but Wellington, New Zealand is looking at some showery weather. Let's have a look at the specifics. Here we have the sunshine, but there you can see Seoul and Tokyo with the showers and the cloud cover there, but the temperature is very mild. Manila and Bangkok, 33, 34, New Delhi the same. As we look at Australia now, there you can see the fair weather conditions all the way through, but uh, Wellington maybe with the odd shower, as you mentioned. Let's uh, have a look at uh, South America. Here we have a lot of cloud right through the central parts of the country, as a matter of fact, across the continent. And here we have a look at what's going on in uh, Bolivia with uh, some 12 degrees and some showers. Santiago, Chile, increasing cloudiness. And if you're going to do the samba, a nice slow samba in uh, Rio de Janeiro, as we are looking on Tuesday at about 33 scorching degrees under mainly sunny skies, your specific local detailed forecast is coming your way next. <laughs> 